Hey guys. Yeah. Inspiration's still going on. Just going crazy on this. But anyways, uh, welcome to the next installment of... It's hard to find words sometimes when the feeling gets you. Um, this video right here, it's a little longer, you know, for the newer style videos that I've been making here. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to get things so that you guys could kind of understand the joy that I've been going through just during all of this. Um, there have been several comments on different uh, media systems, Discord, Facebook, uh, simply just amazed at how fast this is all coming together. Um, this is kind of like the perfect storm. I completely agree with them. I don't really have any understanding. Um, yeah, this particular one, as soon as I have an idea, I'm able to find the right pieces and make the adjustments. Uh, it's this, I, I gotta think this happens to other people. Um, I'm just, yeah, I can't tell you how much fun I am having with this. It is just, it, the accumulation, I think, of, you know, the last two years of building and painting and learning things. Um, to put the, the video went together real fast, too. Um, so anyways, right here, um, it's real top heavy. Um, and then I'm a little worried about the crane I'm going to put on top. Yeah, I know. All that stuff. And on top of it all, I'm going to put a crane. Um, just, <laughs> and who knew it worked? Hey, look at that. <laughs> so silly. Um, so now we're on to the big detail parts of it. Um, I, essentially I was going to do a sump spider, uh, haunt, but, uh, a comment came on the last video about nets. Um, catching garbage and, you know, yeah, for sure they'll be used in Necromunda. Um, some 3D prints my buddy Mike gets me here. Um, I'll have a link for those down in the bottom. And, you know, one side's going to have a grill and the other side's going to have a great big fish hanging off the end of it. Um, yeah, there's some ripper jacks hanging. You know, I, I, uh, once again, you got to worry about playability when you're doing this stuff. Um, the netting is a orange, uh, bag, bag that holds oranges. Um, I had a little bit of a question as to whether the PVA was going to solid it up, but it totally did. Um, yeah. Another amazing thing on this build. So we are coming to the end of the beginning stages of this video. Uh, the second half of this is going to be painting. So, yeah, and I'll let you guys do this walkthrough real quick. And I'll be back in a minute.
Okay. Um, yeah, we're back. Uh, time to get the, uh, the base colors down on this thing. And yes, I'm going to be using my airbrush. This is the part when you guys start to, well, hopefully, um, get a little glimpse as to what craziness has been going on in my head. Um, we're going to be doing walkthroughs throughout this whole process just to break up the monotony of the video. Yeah, I know I'm priming black. Woo, big deal. Um, one thing you probably will notice is I'm not priming everything black. Um, yeah, we're just going for the dark spots. Um, all of this paint that I'm using is um, Badger uh, Steino Res Primer. The browns, the greens, I'm mixing with ink so that I can get coverage for it. But um, gone are my days of priming everything one color and then priming another thing every one color. Um, I believe it really destroys the reasoning behind the airbrush. Um, you can get all kinds of mediums now and just begin the painting process, you know, from the start um, without going in these stages and steps that somebody told you you needed to do. I know when we, when I first started out, yeah, that's good rules to have, but the creative process is one of the reasons that this stuff comes as easy as it does to me. Um, and now that I'm beginning to make videos um, and I'm talking here, watching this video as I'm talking, um, I'm really liking the way <laughs> that it's coming out here. Uh, there's a little beastie. Um, everything is layers. Um, thin, thin layers. As a matter of fact, the further I get into this, the more thin the layers are and the more the layers are. Um, now, here's the blotching. Um, <laughs> one of my children, when I did the original wall piece, uh, came by to help. And, you know, I painted over it and this is where those thin layers come in. Um, the camera, because we're not shooting 4K yet, although I still don't know whether that's going to make a difference, doesn't pick up on this. Um, uh, when I when I coat it in the grays and we do some airbrush um, uh, adjusting, this is airbrush highlighting starting with the gray, but it's over those splotchy colors. And what ends up happening is I, I use them for my targets to where the lighter colors were going to go. Um, yeah, here we go. We're bringing the gray in here, and the gray is going to tie a lot of this together. It's going to take away the over metallic spray, the overdone and the brown, but I'm not covering, covering um, with each layer. Yeah, here's a, wow, look at how tall that beast is. Um, and we're just going to be adding wet paint as we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is a, a single technique. I think I'm mixing several different things all together um, and because I'm getting very used to working with all this stuff that it is coming easier and oh uh, yeah I, you know we're, we're consecutively going with lighter grays and we're gonna be at the highlight stage. Um, once again, I'm going to be using oil paints on this later. So we're going to be melding and mushing everything together. There's still more airbrush work. Um, you know, thanks so much, you guys. Um, this is, you know, the final walkthrough for this video. I'm sorry I couldn't get it all done in two, but it just wasn't going to give this justice. Um, this is really turning out. I think the only question I have right now is that chain coming off. Um, I think pretty much I'm using that as just something for future that I'm going to probably add on on the end there um, for a gigantic hook coming off. A little worried about it being top heavy, but 
um, you know, it's, uh, this has been quite a ride. Um, <laughs> and we're not done yet. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Part three is in the works. Thanks again for stopping by, guys, and please like and subscribe.